Hello my friends from CG Dojo. Today I'm gonna show you a few tips or more than tips I guess it's like uh, some mistakes that I'm always uh, making at the time of baking. Mm, what a rhyme there. Anyway, um, some things that I always encounter um, when baking and working uh, with low poly and high poly and this is mainly because uh, you can get distracted in in uh, when you're making a big model like this one uh, for example here uh, I'm getting this weird normal uh, baking problem in these two pieces for example okay and also I can see inside the geometry here okay and also I got this problem which is a bit different from the other ones that I'll show you in a bit. Okay, so we're gonna start with this problem. This one, it's a normal problem with the high uh, poly model. How I know that? Because if it was a problem with the low poly normal, it will show like this. You can actually see inside the, the model. Okay, and it's just simple. You just go back to your software and fix it there. Okay, so we're gonna start fixing this, these first two problems. Okay, so let's go in my case to Blender. This is my how my high poly, and I can see here like I have activated my normals, so I can see them. And as you can see, well, they're not showing, uh, they're not facing out, they're facing in. So I'm gonna shift, click shift N, and now I can see my normals I are facing the outside direction. So we're gonna do the same with this one, shift N and the normals are fixed, okay? And as you can see here, I don't have a problem with this. Uh, we're gonna leave that to the end, okay? Now we're gonna jump to the low poly. Well, first of all, I'm gonna export this. So file, export, FBX, I'm gonna select my high, I got my presets here, games, selected objects, and what I do here is just pretty much apply modifiers because it's the high poly, and the ar armature, I just make sure it's not adding any bones or leaf bones, okay? So I'm gonna export my FVX, and it's gonna take a few seconds, hopefully. Okay, I don't know why it says not responding, but should say working. Okay, so it exported. And we're gonna go back here. And I'm gonna make the, ma the mesh. I'm gonna select again my high. And I'm gonna leave the same settings. I'm working with a 0 0.002, so my model is very precise. Okay, and some subsampling, eight by eight. Always, I'm not using the by mesh name. That's why I'm doing very a very close frontal distance, and I'm gonna bake it. Okay, so uh, you're gonna see here that this problem is gonna be gone. This is gonna be fixed finally. I should have gone lower since the baking just only takes a bit. Well, it was fast. Okay, but as you can see, you, uh, it's already fixed, like from the from normal, uh, when it baked the normal, we and also the ambient occlusion here, we can see that everything is working fine now with, when we fix the, the high poly. Okay, and it's gonna show in a second. Okay, okay, and it's finally fixed. Now it's not gonna give us any problem. Okay, now we're gonna fix this part, which is easy. We're gonna go to our low poly. Just remember, when you can see inside, uh, when we're in Substance Painter, it's because our normals are facing in, not out. So I'm gonna switch from the high poly to the low poly. Okay, and as we can see here, they're facing in. If they, if they were facing out, we will be able to see the face orientation okay so we're gonna select this mesh and shift N 
and that should fix it okay and before I export I'm gonna talk about the other problem okay let's 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 say this one is already fixed and this is gonna look uh, the right way once we export but I want to tackle this problem before I do that so what is happening here what is happening is that I let the computer decide where my where it's gonna triangulate my mesh okay so the way the computer is doing it is like this by joining these two vertex it's adding one edge in the middle there so my mesh is not gonna look right if I do that it's gonna look right this is actually already getting in the way so this is another thing you have to do before exporting you want you want to make sure that you triangulate your mesh so you don't have any issues okay but here uh, I'm just gonna fix that face I'm telling the computer what to do so it won't have that problem okay so now I'm gonna select my mesh with those two things correct correct it low 3 I'm gonna select my presets export FBX and now if I go to we're gonna we're gonna see those two things okay so we got this problem at this problem since this thing is already baked it's gonna it's gonna show but this one should be fixed by going to edit project configuration I'm gonna switch my low poly okay and as you can see it's looking right but I still have to do the bake just to fix those those problems okay and these ones too as you can see the mesh is already correct okay so I'm gonna tap this and all we have to do is just select that part okay I'm gonna start these are two different maps so I'm gonna start with the top and the high poly is already selected everything is fine and now this is gonna look fine because we already switched the normals and as you can see here it's already working so that that problem is already fixed okay and I'm sharing this because I remember when I started it was so frustrating to have this problem and have no idea what was going on but I mean after a few models and I mean many more many models like I've been doing a lot of um, a lot of uh, props or vehicles and I still do the same pro the same mistakes uh, from when I started but I mean I do it not as it's not that as common as when I started but anyway okay uh, okay so now I'm gonna select this map and I'm gonna bake it and remember what we did it was just tell the computer where to put my edges so it's not guessing and making a mess so it's always good to triangulate before you send it to the software to the painter software so you're sure that you're working with the right uh, maps and everything okay and as you can see uh, we don't see that problem anymore and it's fixed and we should get a pretty clean uh, geometry as you can see it's pretty much clean okay almost done okay and it's done okay and that's and that problem is gone okay and one last problem will be this as you can see well there is something funny going on in here which of course I already know what it is because I just realized that okay I have this geometry in my low poly no problem and everything is correct but the problem is that somehow um, and this happens to me often uh, again I mean after a few I will say 10 years working in 3d <laughs> I still do this sometime like I will duplicate just to make the low poly but sometimes I don't know like I forget to duplicate and instead of duplicating the object I just take that object and send it to my low poly 
and then of course my my high poly is not there anymore because I didn't duplicate it I just sent it and well that's just a, like a very dumb mistake but uh, when you get all these weird looking things in in painter just think about just going back and forth the, to your 3d modeling software and see what problems you you could have worked and and seeing to those pieces uh, which are not looking correct and going back and forth and that's going to fix it sometimes you can get a uh, problems where the map is just giving you weird results and that could be because you forgot to uv one of the pieces and that still happens to me but very few times I can tell, I can say that I'm getting better at, at this problem solving thing. But anyway, this tutorial, it's more than 10 minutes now. And if you got all the way here, well, I appreciate it. Thank you for listening. And I hope this helps you um, not uh, commit the same mistakes I did and hopefully help you uh, with your workflow to make it a bit faster. So again, thank you for being here and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.